What's up? It's Olivia here, and in this video, it's the second day of 25 Days of Christmas Read Louds. Last time we did the elf pets, a reindeer tradition, dancers right here. But in this video, we will be doing the elf pets, a St. Bernard tradition. So, here's my St. Bernard berry. Here's my elves. Can't touch them, but I can love touch these guys so I still love my elves I can touch them right chippy snowflake dancer and berry anyway the back of this book says these pups have assembled to rescue the soul of our holiday season and save the North Pole so let's just get started on with this book and you're gonna want to pay attention to the pictures because they're really cute Millions of snowflakes flutter in place, each crafted by water and lighter than lace. They shelter a secret and fill up the sky as elves swirl and twirl, twirl on the air as they fly. Beyond the gray veil of this thick winter snow, the Christmas star shines with a warm, gentle glow. And as is the custom, when clouds finally clear, Santa's village grows silent and all gather near. According to legend, when the star first appears, the elves stop and measure the world's Christmas cheer. This Christmas spirit of faith, hope, and love shines down in bright beams on them from all from above. This moment's importance cannot be denied, for without Christmas spirit, the sleigh doesn't glide. The scout elves can't fly, and the toys don't get made, and the Christmas elves' flight could be delayed. So every year, the North Pole awaits the state of the world's Christmas spirit update. When Santa steps forward, it's time to begin. The findings are finished, then given to him. We measured and checked the world's Christmas cheer. And truth is, my friends, I've seen better years. The North Pole was stunned, except for a few who had tried to guess what Santa might do. The spirit of Christmas is deep at the soul of what makes us magical at the North Pole. We have to be certain there's no more concern, and this star shines brighter each year it returns. Ruff! Comes a sound from the edge of a mass. The crowd slowly parts to create dog walks past. Could it be Barry, the old St. Bernard, the watchdog of Christmas who serves as its guard? Everyone whispers and clamors to spy this great fable dog as he walks by. Some says he's as old as Christmas itself, a friend of St. Nick and the oldest cow elves. Oh, I didn't show you that close. Their eyes meet, they nod, then without a word, they turn as a thunderous blowing is heard. Howling is heard. On the mountain behind them, all the way to the crest, stands an army of dogs with a strong puffed out chest. These pups have assembled to rescue the soul of the holiday season and save the North Pole. That is the quote right there. Barry barks to assure the jolly old elf, but Santa reminds you can't do this yourself. The children are needed. They must do their part to work alongside you with joy in the heart. Friends, Santa calls out. The legend is clear. There's only one way to build extra cheer. When the heart of the child where love is most true outwardly shines and hope will break through. You see, offer Santa when children are kind and choose to do good, their inner light shines. And though they won't see it each time they try to carry out kindness, their light will supply an invisible trail of holiday cheer. It will scoop up and store it whenever it is near. That light from within is both fragile and dear. It eliminates sadness and conquers most fear. So use your brown barrel to lock it up tight, keep it safe and secure until Christmas Eve night. The elves celebrate the reindeer do too, but Barry and Santa have found a new way to store up essence, the spirit they'll, that they'll need. To ensure utilite missions will always succeed. Wait, says an elf, how does the cheer? Get back to the star after each, to the star, 
year after year. Santa and Barry reach out their arms. Together they offer a tiny heart charm. With a one, two, three, up, it's tossed in midair. It pops the confetti into the gold arctic air. It breaks into pieces, ringing like chimes, and places a charm on each barrel it finds. Kids will adopt you and give you a name, Santa says to the dogs as he also proclaims. They'll cuddle and snuggle to show they believe, which will give you magic on each Christmas Eve. You'll wait at the window and patiently find the star from the east watching over mankind. A beam from the star will drift throughout space when softly descended to your heart's golden chimes face. Your barrel will open to the treasure inside. A faith and hope and love will swirl around outside. The heartbeat of Christmas, its spirit and cheer will climb to the star so that year after year the magic of Christmas will greatly increase and with the hope of goodwill and peace. Ho, 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 I will offer glad tidings and joy with the Christmas blessings for each girl and boy. Now, I did, I did name it and everything, I just didn't fill it out. Um, and I just want to show you guys something quickly. Compare all the pictures of the elves on this page. You can see the elves a lot better in this book I'm about to show you guys. And look at them here. They, I think they use real elves for that picture. Did they, guys? Well, maybe they did. But anyway, that is my Elf Pets Ranger book. I mean, St. Bernard book. And I just want to show you guys really funny. Something really funny to say. We were meant to put like 2016 or the year, but I put 20th. <laughs> funny. But anyway, that is my second day. 25 days read aloud. I'm posting five today. Because it's the fifth, but I have no more elf pets books because these are the only two elf pets. But I do have the elf tradition book. But in my next read aloud, I'll be reading letters to Santa. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Bye. Merry Christmas.